how are you doing everybody? Uh, today we have a really short video. It's just to uh, teach you why and how to correct your feet scraping on the floor. Those people who with feet do this motion when they're running, especially for endurance athletes. And uh, since it's a short video, I also have a small circuit that will help you for those days where you have class or you have to work or it was raining and you didn't, couldn't go running and you really want to break a sweat and challenge your uh, willpower. This is a circuit specially good for those uh, people who were, when running, uh, tend to drop their pace at the end of the run, not because of lack of capacity, but mostly because of lack of willpower or you can simply are not used to the pain in your legs. So this uh, circuit will correct that. It will get you used to that pain and will increase your willpower. So let's check it out. I have a big pet peeve on hip posture and hip motion because this will determine everything your body does. Sometimes we're looking for solutions and uh, certain exercises and uh, it's actually our core and our hip. Remember, it tilts, it rotates, it, um, it tilts uh, sideways. So these movements have, been, have to be very loose in order for you to ex execute um, the movements properly and with power and to pick your feet up from the floor and stop them from dragging. So we're watching an image of what the hip does and I have previous videos on it. You have to remember we are a bunch of uh, uh, let's say um, springs and levers and everything is moving in order for you to uh, get the the proper power and the proper uh, movement that you have. Right, so you must remember you're not a, a box of, of cereal that walks just like a robot. You're actually uh, very loose and you can move twisting and lifting and tilting. The other thing uh, we're gonna do is this experiment. Stop dragging your feet. Uh, the original video is in Spanish, so I have to do a voiceover. So get a rubber band, right? One of those resistance bands. I'm gonna tuck my shirt in so you can see where I place it. Uh, the first thing, ex extend it, put it on the floor, and uh, step on it. After you step on it, uh, place it, tense it, and place it on your hip. Now, the first uh, movement I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it improperly. I'm gonna do it uh, with anterior pelvic tilt, you know, uh, sticking your butt out. And look how much power that elastic band is. That elastic band is simulating your hip flexors. So now I'm gonna place it in the same place, but I'm gonna have proper posture, uh, hips tight, abs tight, and boom, you can see uh, the power that it has. So uh, having the, a good posture is the key. And uh, if you're uh, posture properly, your muscles will fire up uh, with uh, proper intensity and proper energy. So after that, we're gonna do uh, some uh, exercises to correct uh, our posture. The first one is uh, is, a fir is an image of how you're not supposed to run, sticking your butt out with this big arch on your back and your belly, it's all loose uh, and it's sticking out, right? You want to move your hips under you and tighten your belly and tighten uh, your uh, butt muscles, right? Your your glutes. And uh, that is the first exercise. It's just doing uh, standing. Just tilt from a back to a neut neutral posture, from an anterior pelvic tilt to a neutral posture, and do that a lot of repetitions. I'm gonna show you here in uh, motion what you have to do. Just move it there, tense your abs, and tense your glutes when you do it. Um, the next step is uh, doing uh, lying on the floor, right? You wanna lie on the floor, you wanna eliminate that big hole, that big arch, put it flat, make sure your back is in contact with the floor, and now lift uh, your leg and your opposite arm. This is called the dead bug, and you will see that 
uh, maybe you even have problems with your flexibility like my right leg and if that's too hard or you just want to add up another exercise lift your legs and lift your knees up to your chest so, uh, now we are gonna watch how this is important for all sports and even uh, when we're running at different speeds if we maintain our posture our hip flexors will pull our legs uh, forward and up because they have been stretched and they, and they work like an elastic band so this can be applied to any sport where you have to run yeah definitely um, and accelerate aggressively uh, especially in these uh, team sports like uh, American football or rugby or whatever you know you are increasing your stride just by positioning your uh, legs properly you can see in this image that when we um, position the hips improperly we're gonna either lift our heels to our butts and break and have a shorter stride or uh, what we were talking about that we are gonna completely drag our feet while uh, if we position it properly we're gonna do a proper front side mechanic and our stride will be much better and here you can see how the muscles are stretched uh, on the toe off of the athletes I have a video on the whole mechanics and how to train this and this will give the motion to pull that leg forward it will be unconscious it will be a natural movement a consequence of the stretching of the hip flexors and the force you apply on the ground and the feet bouncing off right uh, this applies to men and women because we are biomechanically uh, pretty similar right uh, we only have certain uh, sexual differences but um, why does this work on kicking it's the same concept. The more you pull your your hips in, into a position where you can stretch the hip flexors, the more power your kick will have. Like in this image, you can see the hip is very well placed and now the foot is turning to the left and that leaves that a hip flexor really stretched so that kick gets a lot of power. This is a Muay Thai kick, but it applies uh, likewise to taekwondo karate or whatever the same thing is kicking a ball we can see this rugby kick where the athlete is with a good posture you can see the belt line is facing forward but the leg is stretched back and now we got a very powerful kick just like in soccer any kick you want to place yourself uh, in a proper position to make that powerful stretch of the hip flexor now why how does this apply to throwing well uh, indeed we need to block with the other leg and this will give a great stretch and uh, it will get that power from all that hip flexor ab and shoulder stretch in order to pull that throw over us and it works on every single throw I'm just showing you javelin and uh, handball because they are very similar but as you can see it affects every sport if you're athletic you will have good posture and I think that's what being athletic means uh, in hurdling uh, people uh, are always asking on their uh, trail leg and it's just that you take off properly you stretch that um, hip flexor and it will come forward automatically if you help it by reducing that lever same thing in the pole vault you're not gonna do this sophisticated gymnastics uh, voluntary movement it's just like in the in the high bar there's a lot of movement that looks so fast because you're stretching the muscle and, and gaining that momentum and taking advantage of it it's the same thing on the pole vault you leave that leg behind you do that c inverted that c position and it's just gonna uh snap into the front and up if you do this properly on the takeoff everything else will be easier and this affects a lot of sports uh, especially uh, elite sports but can you have a bad posture and bad movements when you're doing elite sports definitely but are you that talented uh, are you a one in a billion you're probably not 
So if you want to get to a high level, you have to work on that posture. And it would be much better if you are one of a one in a billion and you have good posture, right? So we have to work on that a lot. And there's a lot of uh, athletes that suffer because they lose their posture in the last minute or in the most determining uh, moments of the sport. So you need to work on that in order to be the best athlete you can be. And of course, stay healthy and injury free. So now uh, we know the value of running properly and, and posturing our hips properly. And of course, the high intensity, the higher the intensity we can do this, uh, we'll get used to that aggressive contraction and that aggressive pulling and stretching of the muscles. And that means you will probably perform it more safely in your own sports environment. So you have to get used to the sprint. And uh, thanks to Jacksonville University for the video of their athletes running. You can see some of them there and others in a locomotor lab uh, when you see the studies. But again, I want to reinforce this fact. The better your sprint, the more uh, significant that becomes on your performance. But not only that, on your safety, your stretching everything in an aggressive manner you are getting that body used to that aggressive and power development no matter what activity you're doing and that will uh make you get used to that and now when you play other sports that are lower intensity then you are safer from injury i cannot stress that enough so stay safe and stay with good posture So now that we've discussed all that and we understand what we're doing, uh, remember we did all those postural exercises for our abs. We, I have some more that even include the movement of the legs for sprinting and running. So check that video out on my channel. I'll link it on the description. And now we have a circuit to make your willpower better when you're running and to uh, make you fear, fear uh, that leg pain less. So here we're gonna do three minutes of continuous work. The first minute, we're gonna do 20 splits and then a front lunge the rest of the minute. Immediately you do 20 splits on the second minute and then uh, set to add the backwards lunge for the rest of the minute. And a minute three is just splits and splits and splits. You can take the recovery pauses and count every repetition. Uh, you want to improve by non-stopping, by feeling more powerful or doing more repetitions. So check it out. Let's start it. It's going to be a Spanish audio, but it's just um, I'm going to translate uh, down because I'm not talking that much. I'm sweating. By the way, not only you can uh, do the ab workout that, that we did um, to activate your hips, you can also do the other one I mentioned, the hip movement um, exercises, but also I have a great video on how to activate your glutes because you're probably not active on your glutes and your, hip, and your hips and how to prevent knee pain. So do that before you do this circuit and that'll be a massive workout. Try to do it as consistently as possible. All these exercises, do it at least three times a week or do one each day uh, so you can improve on that, on your posture and all your movement. And you will see the difference on injuries and on quality of sport. Lo hicimos en 15 segundos, nos quedan 45 para hacer desplante, mantengan su postura. Talón, planta, punta. Talón, planta, punta. Hasta terminar el minuto. Podemos parar, no hay problema. La idea es hacer la mayor cantidad posible cada vez este es el minuto 
los primeros dos minutos son bastante suaves. 59, un minuto. Frente split de nuevo. Mantengo mi postura. Me obligo hacia el frente. 8. 10. Paro. Me recupero. Ahora hacia atrás. Esto lo acertamos más, lo hicimos en 26 segundos los splits. Entonces nos quedan 34 segundos de desplante hacia atrás. Tengo mi postura, mis hombros, suelo pélvico. Flexiono, hago todo desde el glúteo. No quiero hacer mayor cosa con el cuadrícep. Quiero que todo venga desde el grupo. Vamos. 59. Y hoy es un minuto completo de splits. Uh. Vamos a parar. Sacudo. Vamos de nuevo. Uh. No dejen que los hombros caigan. Alguido, vista al frente. Buena postura. Vamos. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Oh. Siempre contemos, cada semana queremos hacer por lo menos uno más. Después queremos hacer uno más en cada serie. Yeah. Okay guys, as it said at the beginning, three minutes, three minutes of work, but always warm up, some general exercises, maybe some of the abs that we did, three to five sets of each, and always include your glute exercises. You can choose 10 to 15 glute exercises, or all of the ones I showed you in the glute uh, and knee pain video and then you have three minutes 20 splits uh, the rest of the minute lunge, lunges then 20 splits backwards lunges uh, for the second minute and the last minute is just splits your legs should be burning your glutes should be on fire you should be holding your posture and that's it I'm wasted I'm gonna get some water see you the next time bye bye so there you have it guys, so why you drag your feet, how to solve it, and that uh, willpower circuit. Get better uh, every week, get safer every week, and you'll be a better athlete. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.